Okay, folks, uh, this first shot here is uh, of this heart in Ocean City. Uh, this is in 5K uh, 30, but uh, now I switched over to uh, 4K 30 because I want to uh, use the, uh, the the zoom, not just the two times zoom. I wanted to use the binocular zoom to get in tighter on this uh, Valentine's heart that was created out of shells here on the beach at, uh, at North Beach. So... Um, and this this was the site of the holiday Christmas tree. They converted over to the uh, the heart for uh, Valentine's Day here with the red. Uh, that's o O C in the middle uh, there, and then the N J. So um, yeah, so um, it's one of the downs uh, of using that. Uh, uh, you know, you can't use the binoculars in five K. Okay, so here we're back to five K thirty frames per second. Uh, going down the beach here, and we used our uh, you know we doubled. Uh, you know, we doubled our, uh, uh, frame, you know, frame rate and doubled our aperture. I, I can never say that in the right order, but we were 30 frames per second and, uh, we were, you know, a one, one over 60 aperture there. So, um, yeah, so it was just flying down the beach, uh, just uh, testing the, uh, 5k, uh, video quality here as we kind of move up here. So, um, and what we're doing, going to do here is the next clip is going to be, um, uh, also a uh, 5k 30 but now we've gone to a uh, log video profile and uh, of course we've um, dialed it in in uh, final cut uh, we brought it in we used uh, uh, Ken, Ken Dono's um, lot here to uh, kind of get it looking good and then we used the combination of the uh, color wheels and the curve adjustment to um, get the video to look the way it is here whether you think it's good or not you, you'd be the judge i i think i was able to dial it out some of the overexposure issues from the color profile and that was all my uh, fault because i was more concerned with setting that you know doubling that uh, you know shutter speed uh, uh than i was um getting the um exposure correct so that's the problem you're so worried about the motion blur and whatever that you uh, overexpose the image so that that that's entirely on me but i i you know was able to dial down some of that overexposure uh using the you know the 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 wheels color wheels and the um the, the curves here so um you know uh my, my advice would be this is kind of the, one of the flattest you know uh, log profiles i've ever seen on a drone and uh you know unless you're experienced with uh doing a color correction of, of log video, I would kind of, uh, you know, stay away from this. Uh, I mean, you know, you got to practice. So, uh, but if you're really trying to get an important shot uh, and you can, you're not an experienced video editor, uh, maybe just shoot in the standard color, color profile uh, because it looks just great in the standard color profile. Uh, now, if, you know, if you're trying to match the color, you know, the colors from one camera, you know, to your drone, then you kind of need the log profile so you can kind of match them up. So, uh, but again, be wary. This is, uh, this isn't, you know, the easiest color profile to, um, the log profile to work with here. It, uh, it sure isn't like a good old descent like, uh, on the original Mavic one, which was, I think Billy Kyle said this once to me. It's like, uh, you know, it's like log on, on training wheels or whatever. That was real easy to edit where this is not. So, um, Okay, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of this uh, five, brilliant 5K footage out of the, uh, you know, the, the Mavic 3 here. Um, look, look at this with those waves rolling in, uh, you know, just, just, just beautiful. So, okay, that's about it for today, and we will see you on the next video, folks.